Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mule channel. Today I'm doing a review of Transformers Rise of the Decepticons number 19. Um, so it was just known as Transformers until the 18th issue and I guess now it's Rise of the Decepticons. That's the big arc right now. This is cover B with uh, Chromia on the cover with Bumblebee in the background and uh, Soundwave. And um, yeah. So, so far, we get a good uh, recap here. This is um, Sentinel Prime talking. He says, The Ascenticons offer you only lies, false justifications for false solutions to false problems. They promise unlimited Iron John, unlimited forgings, unlimited expansion, as is such simplicity as can answer every question. We have Starscream and Megatron. Uh, Megatron says, Are you saying what's happening is to do with Bumblebee? That Orion Pax is behind it? So Orion Pax is uh, Optimus Prime before he became a Prime and um, Bumblebee is officially a uh, Ascenticon which is the uh, pre-Decepticons um, so he's like infiltrating them but Megatron is starting to realize that Bumblebee is uh, actually an Autobot and then on the last issue we had uh, RC, Greenlight, and Gage threesome so they are going into um the galaxy series and this is our key players here bumblebee orion pax megatron sentinel prime alita one soundwave windblade skytread so it's a pretty good team of characters in this book we have windblade she was damaged in the last issue and ratchet has uh brought her back and um, there was kind of an incident where, like, other um, Transformers were injured. And this is Ratchet talking. So what happened was uh, Big Tether fell and um, caused a lot of damage. Um, this arc is called Rise of the Decepticons. All fall down. Um, Megatron says... This is not what I wanted. This was the last desperate resort. So Megatron is uh, perceived to be in command of the Rise, which is like a third party. So you have like Autobots, Ascenticons, and the Rise. So Megatron's perceived to be the leader of the Rise group. And um, he's kind of ordering people around. And uh, he's ordering people around. He says... Uh, Pyra Magna has spent two megacycles on stasis, roused only to remind her that she is a prisoner. I will not allow it to be me. It will be all of us if you do not do as I command. Time is everything. He sends off um, Giaxis, that's the guy's name. And he's got Ratbat, which of you, which I think is his first appearance in this series. Uh, Ratbat, you know which of your fellow infiltration troopers will turn their endless complaining into action? Bring them to me. Right back goes off. We got Soundwave, who's a senator as well. So Megatron's a senator, Soundwave's a senator, but they don't know really that Soundwave's a bad guy yet. Um, Megatron says, Soundwave, the Autobots have marked you out. If they get you, our cause may not survive. You stay here under the protection of the guard. You do not step outside. You do nothing. So uh, Soundwave is the leader of the guard, um, the Ascenticon Guard led by Alita One right now, but that will change. Um, Megatron says, I have arranged for some reinforcements. Names we do not think the security has identified as risers. Alita One has outlived her purpose as a figurehead. She will be removed. And Bumblebee? He outlived any purpose except perhaps to embody a new message. I'm afraid the Expanded Guard will suffer a tragic loss on its first mission. So he's going to try and get Bumblebee killed by the Rise. And uh, Alita 1 says, what's going on here? Who are all these? And Sanwe said, the new recruits for the Guard. Crasher, run amok, run about, Ion Storm, Nova Storm. <laughs> So I guess we have a debut of uh, new Transformers. That's pretty cool. Crasher, Run Amok, Run About, Ion Storm, Nova Storm. 
Um, Alita One says Rainmaker's reunited Acid Storm on his on his own was one thing, but you put those three back together. So I guess there was an Acid Storm. I'm guessing the green one. Ion Storm, Nova Storm. So there's three of them. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Three of them. That doesn't scan as volunteer security militia. That's a military unit, and everyone will know it. Not your concern. You are relieved of command. Confined to quarters. What? The Rainmakers will show you to your new accommodation. Skytrad leads the Ascent Con Guard now. That's pretty cool. I like Skytrad a lot. I actually have his action figure. <clears throat> Maybe I'll show it at the end of this video. Um, so Bumblebee, again, see he has the Decepticon logo. Um, you've got to be kidding me. Sky, it says Bumblebee. And Skytrad says, joke's on you. I run the guard now. I can run you into the ground if I feel like it. Bumblebee says, where's Alita 1? Busy, like us. It's an emergency, in case you haven't heard. So us selfish heroed helping out. You're volunteered to go dig through the rubble in that storage hub for survivors. I'll send back once we're organized. So they lead him into a trap where he sees a dead Transformer. And this is an era of Transformers, like the very beginning, where like the only there's only been two Transformers that have been killed. I believe they were Barricade and Rubble. They're, or no, Brain... Was it Bar No, it was Brainstorm. Sorry, it was Brainstorm and Rubble that were killed. And that was, like, really shocking. So we have a third Transformer death. And Bumblebee is, like, freaked out. And there's somebody in the background. I'm gonna skip a few pages here. It's um, Sentinel Prime and Optimus, Optimus Prime just talking. Um, uh, Sentinel Prime is in command, and he said that he's got the Matrix... And then um, we go to Bumblebee, and he's being attacked by a doggy or a cat. I guess that's a cat. But damn it. Some good art. God, this Transformers series has had really good art since issue one. This one is drawn by Anna Malkova. And pretty good colors as well. Everybody stands out. Everybody is distinct. Bumblebee's in a big fight here, and then he's got this other guy comes in. This other green guy. And then I can't show all the panels, but this is like the Autobot team right now. You have a smoke screen. Um, well, smoke scene, rin, rin, uh, wind blade, uh, Springer. Who's the other one? I forget the other two. I see Hound is assembling his own group. So we have that. But um, Bumblebee is still in his fight with his two Rise members. And he's pretty, pretty good. I mean, he's trying to hide. He's getting attacked. He punches back. He thinks he's getting out. But he uh, he grabs onto the ledge, and then the ledge is shot. He falls down. Pretty good sequence of events here. And then Bumblebee gets smashed in the back. And But he gets saved by Chromia. So Chromia saves him. So Chromia and Optimus know that Bumblebee is undercover. So he says, Prowl, I've got a couple of risers on the run in the South Tower Quadrant I can't pursue. I've got a civilian in tow. Try to find a team that can get down here right now. So Prowl is part of security. And then, um, I del she says, I delegated when you cut contact. Not much choice since no one else knows what you're up to. So she's like covering for him. And he's really sad because his uh, his original squire, Rubble, got killed by, it's believed to be Quake, a member of the Rise. Um, and then on this last page, they talk about Vigilum, who's the one of the Titans that was in action a couple issues ago. And uh, Shockwave says, where is Vigilum? And the guy says, I don't know. I told you what might happen if I couldn't stay in pattern with them. Where did he go, Skystalker? I can't talk to him. I can't 
be with him, you don't understand what you've made me do. Shockwave, my ex has called me to aid all Cybertronians. Not all agree in my absence will be noticed. Please choose. You don't understand, says Skystalker. Are we locked down and hiding or not? Do I command my troops or not? First, you send dozens off to join Megatron. Now, mind wipes, commandeered, Stormcloud, and Visper. I don't know what you're talking about, says Shockwave. He's ticking them into Icon with him, says you haven't allocated him enough energon for some research of his. Shockwave is outraged. No! To be continued. So, it's a pretty interesting series because they've been really talking about, I guess this is the next cover with uh, Hound. With some Hound with some aliens. We got there's a Bumblebee cover on this one. This is the Chromia cover, and this was the uh, limited edition one, I believe. It's pretty cool. And we got the Decepticon logo on the back. So, an interesting point with Transformers right now. Brian Ruckley's done a great job on so far 19 issues. I've got one, uh, number one's the 12 in a. Trade paperback, hardcover, and then 13 to 19, I have single issues, and uh, we're on the Transformers Arise of the Decepticons, so I'm guessing they're going to be, um, pretty soon, they're going to be transforming from Ascenticons to officially Decepticons, and uh, we'll see more follow-up from the Rise and uh, Megatron's, uh, what Megatron's up to what Shockwave's up to, Soundwave, like, there's a lot of politics right now, and it's actually really good. Um, it is, they are going pretty slow, um, but this is going to be like a, I don't know, this could be a hundred issues, like, <laughs> this is going to be a long series, long, long series from IDW, and uh, it's pretty good so far. Hope you enjoyed my video. Um, check out my other Transformer comic reviews. And uh, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And you can see all my other videos linked below. As well as social media accounts, website. And uh, that's it. Have a great night. Bye-bye.